and welcome to part two of the Arizona Subterranean Greenhouse. Just got done building the barn style doors. And this is four feet down into the earth. End up laying the block, dug the entire thing by hand. Uh, just keeping some, uh, some plants in here just because uh, it's still a little bit nippy at night time. And uh, everything's run by aquaponics. So there are two 55 gallon drums. Uh, this one just has mosquito fish and also some goldfish in there right now. Uh, this drum has uh, two blue Nile tilapia and one white tilapia. Uh, this drum right here runs these two trays right here. Right now there's a thousand watt metal halide burning. Uh, we have uh, romaine, uh, red lettuce, red mescaline. Uh, there's a little bit of garlic up front. Uh, the chives, nice, nice flour on the chive. Uh, there's some green onions for like scallions in the back. Artichoke in the back, but I'm probably going to put that outside. Um, so just running the, uh, the the clay hydrogen clay pellets. Really nice, but also really expensive. 40 bucks for a bag. So um, these are just in individual trays, just just for experiment. Um, here's the uh, the TDS meter. You can read that 6.6 .6 on the pH, which is pretty good. And uh, I just have one TDS meter. I literally just pull, pull the, uh, the connectors from drum to drum just to alter that. Uh, parts per million, 16, 20, not too bad. I uh, have two short-term timers that run each drum. There's a, uh, like a pool timer for 120 volt that runs the uh, metal halide. And I've run two different circuits in here. One circuit just for... Uh, regular receptacles and then one circuit dedicated just for the lamp. Uh, aeroponics right here. Uh, this is just starting uh, seedlings after they come out of rock wool. After they germinate, put them up in here to adjust them to some nutrients. Uh, you know, plumbed water. Still got that. Having a beer tonight, of course. Uh, here's the second tray. And there's tomatoes right up front. And in the back, that is asparagus. Along the side we have green onions, scallions again. And here's the chives, just beautiful blooms. Beautiful blooms on there. And there's some paper whites, like uh, like white daffodils right here in the middle, just so we can have some flowers and bring in some, uh, some pollinators. Over here on the right hand side we have uh, zu uh, green zucchini. When these grow up, I'm just going to tether them all up the wall. They can cruise up the wall and go wherever they like. There's just a circulating fan. It's on a uh, just a regular lamp timer right there. Um, it goes on and off a couple times overnight. Primarily runs during the daytime. End up taking these windows out of our uh, out of our home and um, upgraded those windows and incorporated them into the greenhouse. So again, I am, I am four feet below. That is. Uh, that's ground level right there. So I think that's about it for right now. Welcome to the uh, subterranean greenhouse in Arizona. More updates to come soon, but everything is looking good. Aquaponics is full rocking. Lettuce, chives doing really well. Nothing to complain about over here. Until next time, uh, please leave any feedback, of course. And let me know what's going on with all uh, your green homes.